If you're a pro owner that's complained about the lack of flex in your keeb, this is for you. If you love tinkering and modding your pro, looking for that perfect sound and feel, this is for you. If you own or are considering a GMMK Pro, you need to watch the rest of this video. The Flex Kit is a game changer. Let's start with what you get. The most noticeable part of the kit, a completely redesigned bottom case. The gasket mounting points now support robust 3.5mm gaskets, not the paltry 1.5mm gaskets of the original bottom. So there's already room to flex, and we're just getting started. The two standoffs on the top right of the stock case have been removed to improve PCB plate mobility and to reduce metal to metal contact. The internal volume has been increased to allow more resonance for a less muted sound and the case screws have been halved from 8 to 4 to make it easier to mod. Glorious recommends a Phillips double lot screwdriver and if you want to make your collection even easier to work on I highly recommend a wow stick rechargeable electric screwdriver. It's available on Amazon and I'll link it below. There's also added the new logo to the bottom of the case. That's the new bottom case. Now let's talk about the choices of gasket material. There are no bottom gaskets installed, so you can choose what suits you best, but there are three types included. The Flex Kit includes Poron, EDPM, and Glorious' own proprietary G-Foam gasket materials. Each is included in 22x40 and 22x20mm strips, and they also include enough of each material for multiple installations, so you're free to experiment with multiple installs and find your perfect sound and feel. The softer Poron provides a more cushioned feel with greater sound absorption for a more muted sound. The harder EPDM provides a firmer surface while creating a more lively acoustic profile and the G-Foam lands in the middle, being easier to compress than the EDPM but with a quicker return than the Poron. All that being said, the sound will still be affected by other external factors including but not limited to plate material, switches, desk material and others, but there's definitely enough options in the Flex Kit for you to find your favorite. There's even some options for the bottom case foam. They're both G-Foam, but you get the choice of 1mm or 2mm foam. The foam now has cutouts for the hot swap sockets and that leads to more ability to flex. They've been redesigned for the flex bottom kit. Use the 1mm foam for more flex and less sound absorption. Use the 2mm foam for less flex and more muted sound. You can also forego the foam altogether if you want max flex and the most resonance. Just be aware that using both foams isn't suggested as it can cause excessive pressure on the internals. Still not done, Glorious also added in a plate foam made from the white and colored G-Foam. This foam will absorb some residents while not affecting flexibility. The white surface of the G-Foam also enhances the vividness of the Pro's LEDs. This is most evident with the poly plate. Oh man, that's too much goodness, but there's definitely something in there for everyone. I think my current favorite is G-Foam across the board with the plate foam installed and the 1mm case foam with the brass plate. The sound and feel are good, and it's muted enough not to interfere with listening to music while I type, but loud enough that if I just want to get lost in the keystrokes, I can. One of the recurring complaints with the Pro was the lack of flex, but Glorious did what they do, listened, and responded. Well played. If you're still on the fence about the GMMK Pro, don't fret, this next video will help you sort it all out. So click that corner and I'll see you in the next one.